The Brainerd High School Theater Department will perform its first musical in more than 50 years. This is the biggest production put on by the department, so they've changed venues to the Tornstrom Auditorium. The cast consists of about 50 actors and actresses, an orchestra and a technical crew. Many students were interested in being a part of the musical, so filling the roles was not difficult at all. Well, I'd been doing plays before with the theater, but this is the first musical that they've ever done, and so I was just so ecstatic because I've been in the music program, and it's just so exciting to be combining the theater and the music together. Why not? I, I mean, other than it's a very big undertaking. Um, there's 70 kids in our cast and pit, so, I mean, it's a lot of, to control and it's a lot to plan. I love the 1950s, and when I heard they're doing a musical, I, I just had to get into it hearing that it was Guys and Dolls because I know of Guys and Dolls and I love um, the musical ever since I've been a kid. Students will perform the production of Guys and Dolls. The play will take the audience back in time to the 1950s, telling a story about gamblers and falling in love. The cast explained a song is featured in every scene and they believe the community will enjoy this classic production. It's kind of like a cliche old school type of story, the bad boy comes into town and then he has, he's paired up with the good girl and then as he goes along with her he realizes that maybe he's not so bad or the good girl realizes maybe she's not so good. It's very entertaining to watch. It's going to be two and a half hours or so and it's just going to be exhilarating the whole time. A lot of fun, lots of big colorful backdrops, lots of really cool music, good dancing, um, just like a good time. It's a classic musical, I think they'll really enjoy it. The final two showings are this Friday and Saturday. Both begin at 7.30 in the Tornstrom Auditorium in Brainerd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.